What a great PCB board. It's a module. The model is MP1495. You can order it from AliExpress for 1 to 10 pieces. One piece is 0 0.79 cents. That's the cheapest one. And the input voltage is from what it says from 5 to 16 volts and the output can be selected between 1.5, 1.8, 2.5, 3.3, 5, 5 volts output and it can handle 3 amperes. Alright, I ordered it and I got it. No bubbles. A small printed circle board. And what it says behind? Default voltage output is 1.25 volts. Here says input from 5 to 15 volts, 2 to 3 amperes. And the output is maximum 3 amperes. And you can select between 1.5, but the default is 1.25 then 1.5, 1.8, 2.5 volts, 3.3 and 5 volts and you can do that by soldering these points everything is nicely described here are the voltages here we have output here we have input and it says that can handle 3 amperes let's see what is, see in, what is right in description it says that the chip is MP1495 and it's 90% efficiency in converting voltage input 5 to 16, output as I said, 3 amperes current suitable for the replacement of various LCD TV small signal power supply repair 3 lines to get power supply repair <laughs> Alright, time for testing So I solder input wires and output wires and now I'm gonna short one of these points I can choose let's say 1.8 volts and you can do that by soldering a little bit thin right here on the point okay that's enough I'm gonna use my multimeter input right here so you can see better. My input voltage will be 8 volts on my power supply. And look at that. I make a short short on the 8.8 .8 volts on the PCB board and the output voltage is 1.8 volts okay let's change that with removing the tin okay and let's say I want 3.3 .3 volts come on man okay once again, power on and take a look 3.3 .3 volts mm, working great so far let's hook up something as load ok, on, on my multimeter you can monitor the voltage I also solder another DC adapter with many jacks and let's say you want to step down the voltage to 3 volts so you can run your retro voice sensor recording using tapes this is some kind of French just to prove you that there is no 
batteries inside. Okay. So we step down the voltage from 8 volts to 3.3 volts so we can run this device. Plug in into the DC jack. Play. It's working and the voltage stay, stay on 3.3 volts. And just to share this, I even have this. You can change the playback speed. I don't understand what, what he is speaking. Maybe someone will comment below. Alright, this was just an example so you can see for what purpose is this module, let's say. Alright, another setup. Using my electronic load that can handle 30 volts and 5 amperes, I'm gonna measure this module. And let's hook up. Yes, we have 3.2 volts. This mo module is giving 3.2 volts. And I'm gonna go with my electronic load before dropping the voltage. How many amperes can give this thing? Is it hot? Not yet. Little bit drop, 3.1 at 3 volts, 2 amperes, and I'm gonna go with 2.5 amperes. Now, little bit drop in the voltage. Did you see that? At 2.6, I think, amperes. 2.5 holding, 2.6, 8, 2.8 amperes, great, is it hot, not too much. So every module have own purpose, like this PCB board, that input voltage can be from 5 to 15 volts and the output voltage can be adjusted to these points from 1.25 to 5 volts output and can handle almost 3 amperes. It's a cheap one from AliExpress. The link will be in the description below so you can check it. That was all for today's video. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!